what is up guys and welcome back so in this video we are gonna be adding a contact form okay let's just come here and let's refresh this page okay and here you can see that we cannot add a form from this tab you can see that we don't have the option to add a form okay so we basically want to go with the plugin okay and that plugin will have the functionality to add the form so what i'm going to do i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to hit add a new section and let's add it this and so here we want to install a plugin okay what do you have to do you have to just go to itenzeal.com and then it will take you to a new page here you go you can see and then i have to go to the dashboard and then I have to go to the plugins and now I have to hit add new. So we basically need to add a plugin and that plugin would be a contact form so that I can add a contact form. And if someone enters this information, that contact form will send me an email. So here we go. Contact form. So this is the plugin that I personally use that I use for all of my clients. Okay, so that is why I use this plugin for all of uh, my client so i'll be going up with this plugin you can go with any of the plugin that you want to but contact form 7 is the most used plugin and i would recommend you to go with this okay let's go ahead and let's after installing you have to just hit activate and you can see that this plugin will be activated there you go you can see that it says contact form 7 the elementor and ocean extra plugin everything is in, installed and activated so this blue line this is coming this shows um that the plugin is uh, the normal plugin so you can see everything is coming right here okay um now what i have to do i have to just come here to settings you can just come here or you can directly come here to the contact and you have to hit contact forms okay and then you can see that it says the contact form one so we don't want to add this we just want to add a new form we have to just hit add new okay and there you can see that it says enter title here we have the label we have the text area we have email we have the subject and then we have the message so what i want i want here so it would be your name then the label would be your email and everything so i want the title here the title is going to be hire me form okay and here should be your name here should be your email address here should be the person email address and here should be the subject and here should be the message so what i want right now the subject for the subject i want to remove this and instead i want to add a text area okay and on the text area i want to ask the client to enter his business information or his business name so i'm going to select this and i'm going to hit text okay and this text area can be required field i don't want to add this this name is going to be b-u-s-i-n-e-s-s -E business name so you can just enter any name right here and this is going to be business name okay and then the default value can be anything so let's add a placeholder so placeholder can be um your busi n-e-s-s business name or just uh, choose the default one just uncheck this okay so you can see that it says text and then business name so this is our field name okay we can make this field required if you want to okay um now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit insert tag. So you can see that it says text and the business name. Okay. And now what I have to do, I have to just remove this text subject. Okay. And you can see that in the label, I have the subject. Instead of this, I want to change this to be um, B-U-S-I-N-E-S-S -S, business name. So you can uh, change it to be like your business name your business name okay and what i have to do now i want to just come here and i want to hit save so that everything is saved right now and you can see that it says um copy the short code and paste it into your post page or text widget i'm just going to copy this okay i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to come here and what i want i want to just come down and here it says the short code i want to just drag it and drop it right here 
And what I have to do, I have to paste this right here. Okay. And I want to hit apply. So you can see that this is how my form is looking. So this was very easy. I just um, saved the form and on saving this, you can see that it gave me a cop, uh, a code. I copied that code. I just grabbed this short code. I dragged and dropped it right here and then I paste that code and you can see that the form is coming right here so this is how my form is looking you can see my first name your name your email your business name and then your message so this is exactly same we have the label we have your name we have label your email we have label your business name and we have label your message so it is everything exactly you can add anything pretty well so if I want to add one more thing what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go down down and here I want to add this I just basically want to copy this because I want to add something so I'm just gonna come here I'm gonna paste it right here and this should be select the service you want select the service you want okay and then here I just want to come here and I want to remove this okay and here I want to add anything so I can add text area I can add sorry the text I can add the email, I can add the URL, I can add the tail number, I can add the number, I can add date, text area, drop down menu, the check boxes, radio buttons, acceptance, quiz, recapture, file, submit. So I'm just going to add the drop down menu because I want to add the drop down menu. Okay. And this is going to be the menu name, the field name basically is going to be um, service. Service. So this field type can be a required field. Okay, and the options that I want to add here would be web design. Okay, so you can see that it says one per line. So I'm just going to add a new one and that is going to be, um, sorry, um, the SEO. And this should be graphic design. Okay, and now what I have to do, I have to just hit insert that. So you can see that it has been inserted. Select service, this is the name, and the web design, SEO, graphic design. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit save. So here we go. You can see that it has been saved. And now when I come, in, come here and I refresh this, I basically save it. And now I have to just come here and open up this page. So I'm going to open up i10zl.com slash hire me. Okay. And on visiting this page, you can see how my page is looking. So it says your name, your email, uh, your business name, and select the service you want. So he can add the web design, SEO, and graphic design, and then he has to enter his message. And then he has to click send, and his message is going to be sent. But this is how it works. Okay. And now we have to work on come here to the mail. So this is how we want to work with this. So it says um, two. So the mail is going to be sent to this email address. It will be from and then WordPress at itensiel.com. So it will be from info at itensiel.com. And the subject is going to be Tenziel or Rahman. And then this is going to be your subject. So this is going to be um, the subject is going to be um, an, a, f a new form request has been submitted. Okay, and then I have the reply to, so reply to will be your email. So if I will click that the CEO or the person who has the mail received, so I'll be receiving this email. And when I click this email, it will be replied to this, the person email address, which will be entered in this area. Like if someone will enter his email and I will reply, then it will be replied to this guy's email address. Let's come here, let's go down and it will be from this guy's name, the subject would be this and the message body will be in the your message body. Okay, so I wanna add something. So I'm gonna come here, I'm just gonna come here and let's add and this will be B-U-S-I-N-E-S-S, -S, business name. So in the business name, I wanna add the business name right here. So um, just copy this. and paste it let's go down and we have the service the services I want okay and this is going to be the service copy and the paste and the message body is gonna come here so this is how our message body is gonna look like this email was sent from a contact form on the zero this website Okay, let's come here and let's hit save. 
and you can see that the that it has been saved and then we have the messages that if someone that the sender message was sent successfully then it will say thank you your message thank you for your message it has been sent okay now let's try our contact form basically okay i want to add my name right here my email is going to come here and the business name would be and the service i want from hill is the graphic design and i want to add the message to be i need a sexy logo okay i want to come here and i want to hit send here you go it says thank you your miss thank you for your message it has been sent so now when i will check my email there will be an email recording my this form that someone has submitted a contact form okay um i'm just gonna come here to more and then let's come here to spam and you can see that it says a new form request has been submitted okay i'm just gonna come here and it says from name is this subject is your subject business name is this the services i want is graphic design and the message body is i need a sexy logo so this is how it is working so this is coming in the spam i don't know why um i'm just gonna come here i don't want this in spam okay not spam okay so now you can see that this is coming right here you can see a, a new form request has been submitted okay so thanks a lot guys for watching this and now we have done with we're done with the contact form and our contact form is right here so now we also want to add a pop-up right here so that if someone just um, come here and he is on a mobile device then he should be redirected to the hire me page we're gonna make some edit and if someone is on the computer then it should show a pop-up right here so it's gonna be amazing i'm gonna show you how can you do that and this can be done with plugins so the more plugins you have the more functionalities you can add okay so this is how the plugins work and the designing stuff can be done with this elementor okay so um, after that, when we'll be moving on further, 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 we'll build so many websites. We'll build so many websites, different type of websites. I'm going to show you everything in this complete WordPress course because this is a complete WordPress course, and I'm going to show you everything that any type of website can be built on WordPress. So thanks a lot, guys, and goodbye.